Hello friends! In this video I'm going to repaint these Princess Palace pets to be Garfield and Odie. I'm using a tiger because I have a lot of that base and no ideas on how to use them. Plus I only have poodle dog bases so that wouldn't have worked. The Persian is chubby enough to work as the big fat cat. After removing the paint with 100% acetone, I'm cutting off the Persian's tail and bow. While I'm at it, I'll cut off the toy's necklaces and badges. These eye shapes aren't going to work for these boys. I'm putting some Paper Clay Delight Air Dry Clay over their faces so I can have a smooth place to decide what to do with later. I'm not worried about the cat's fringe right now. I'll fix its rear though and patch up anywhere that's not smooth. I made some tails earlier out of Sculpey Ultralight, and I think I'll use this one, and trim it a bit. I'll add a wire so that I can put it in later. For the tiger, I'm just going to cut off the top half of the ears and give him a pair of little floppy ones. I actually wasn't too sure what I wanted for his ears. I made them like this, almost like a puppy's or something. I made them kind of thin at the end so they look like ears. I really wasn't sure about the shape, but my friend said that it looked fine. I think I should have made them bigger and floppier and more cartoony. Oh well, I didn't really want to have to go in over this again. I thought this project would be simple, but of course anything with any sculpting at all needs to be sanded. So I did that, and I got gaps in the clay where it was too thin. So I tried to cover it up with matte paint with a base coat, which would also give me a sandable material. But that was also chipping and stuff, so it was a lot of back and forth with sanding, and filling with paint, and sanding, and painting, sanding, and painting, and sanding, and painting, and sanding, and painting, and sanding, and painting. for like four days. And that was before I broke down and decided that the cat's fringe really wasn't doing it for me. And I also gave Odie his tongue. I guess they're ready enough now. I'm really tired of this project already. Luckily the painting shouldn't take too much. Since they've already got big white spaces here from the clay and paint, I'll use it. I'll go and put in a few layers of Duraclear matte varnish and let it dry overnight. I'll mask off where the eyes are going to go by sketching the shapes on a masking tape and cutting that out with a razor. I made sure the tape was good and flush. Even if the paint chips, it will still be white underneath and easier to fix than if I didn't. Garfield's eyes are going to be lidded and it took a lot for me not to give him DreamWorks face. <laughs> now I gotta mix up the right yellow for Odie. This looks fine so let's get him completely opaque. When he is, I got to paint those deadly details. I'll paint his tongue red, obviously, and darken it with black for the open part of his mouth. Odie has black spots on his sides and a black tail, but I tried to add a little tint brown to it. Luckily, I didn't make too much a mess with this dark color on him, so the corrections aren't too bad. I'll also paint his nose and paw pads to be black. His ears are brown, but I put in some of the dark colors so that I can have some shading. I mix up the right color and try to carefully paint a clean line. I have a question. What are your opinions on painting these kinds of muddled areas? This toy specifically, the details aren't as pronounced. I can't tell where the body ends and the knees begin. Do I paint further down because that's where the marking goes or do I leave it as the base color? These Princess Palace pets are kind of bad for that. Or how about when a toy has painted details carved into them? Like how the tiger base had its stripes defined in the molding? I don't like that. You see it on like every plastic Pokemon toy. Eye molds are also kind of annoying, but I guess it helps someone. I'd rather they be flat. Garfield's not too bad either. I adjust the orange a little bit. Actually, I should maybe make it darker color so that I can have dimension in the fur. <sighs> oh, this looks gross. Yeah. Orange, orange, orange. Okay, that's fine. 
The stripes, I'm not going to make them stark black. These I do want to have be more brown. I kind of figure that's why they're drawn so squiggly. May as well use the comic inking to sub in for a color that you'd have to paint. So when you squint, it's kind of dark brown. So they're going to be dark brown. Uh, yep, that's fine. I can still make it look furry. The stripes on the tail, I'm gonna have them go all the way around the tail. Ideally, it will be able to be on either side of him, so there won't be a top that the stripe would go on. His back and head both have four stripes each. I think I did okay with spacing all of them out. Again, I can make them look kind of furry and squiggly with a paintbrush. I paint the tips of his ears too. But to be honest, this orange isn't hitting quite right. I'll fix it up. And yep, now I gotta fix the stripes. Ugh. Okay, so now for the eyes. I'm frightened. I painted a little bit of black on mostly the masking tape. I didn't want to be too thick and gross looking. Let's remove the tape and there it's chipped. I'll fix it up and sand it a little bit so it doesn't look as bad. I'll just clean out the black outline on both the yellow and white sides of it. It came out alright. I was also worried about Garfield's eyes. As you can see, they're gonna be lidded, but I don't want them to look too different from Odie's. I'll sketch where the outline should be. I'll sketch where the outline should be. Before I go in on Garfield's eyes, which I'm also worried about, I'll fill in his muzzle with the same color that I used for Odie. I'll paint in just black for his mouth and clean that up too. Let's paint in the eye shape. Again, I'm scared of the paint. <sighs> Let's just do it. Yeah, these eyes chip too. Great. Actually, they didn't come out too bad. I'll go over any bumps in the paint to make it nice. Hey, he looks alright. And paint Garfield's nose in pink. I think he's done except for the tail. Back to Odie again. I had to put in his pupils a few times because they weren't coming out right. I cut them away with a razor and painted white and tried again. Um, this set looks okay. I'm just gonna refine how the tail fits on him. I trimmed down the wire and cut away a little bit of the clay until it looks alright. Um, and paint little pink paw pads. I'm going to finish them up with a few coats of watered down dirt clear matte varnish. The coats don't usually take too long to dry so I just keep applying them until I run out. I guess it's humid today because the layers were taking a little longer to dry. I'm not crazy about this finish on Garfield but I guess it's alright. I go on with straight varnish to gloss their pupils and Odie's tongue. So here they are all finished. I think Garfield came out alright. The tail is a little loose but I'd rather not glue it down. Odie, I'm still kind of miffed that I didn't give him better ears, but I guess otherwise he came out okay. 